Hey everyone, this is a very quick video to let you know that Synology's DSM-7 has officially been released. So if you open up your Synology control panel and you go to the update settings, you might not see the new version there. I'm not exactly sure when it will be released for everyone to install it in mass, but if you want to, you can go directly to Synology's website and you can download the latest version. So I'll leave a link in the description to Synology's Download Center, but basically what you have to do is open up the Download Center, you have to select the type of NAS that you have, and then you have to select the operating system that you're currently running and what you'd like to upgrade to. So 7.0-41890 is the officially released version. Version 41882, that was the RC, the release candidate version. So as long as you upgrade to 41890, you will be upgrading to the officially released version. So at that point, you can select the download button, and what it's going to do is it's going to download the PAT file. And what you'll have to do at that point is go back to uh, Synology's control panel. You can select update and restore, and then you can select manual DSM update. From there, you can upload the version that you just downloaded and you should be able to run through and update to DSM-7. Now, if you haven't watched my last video on my suggested approach to upgrading to DSM-7, I'll leave a pop-up for that now. I highly suggest you watch that first. And I have a video that I'll be releasing later, which is basically an overview of the uh, changes that DSM-7 brings. Obviously, it's not everything. It's just some of the bigger things that I think people will notice. So good luck upgrading if you decide to. If you want to hold off, that's perfectly fine as well. If you guys have any questions, though, feel free to leave them in the comments. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. Thanks, guys.